Good morning guys. Uh, so today I'm going to do my tutorial on how to make a uh, little world GIF or GIF for uh, minimal and elegant. Um, at least the way that I do it. I'm sure it's not the easiest. I don't think it's the hardest. Um, I do everything on my tablet or my phone. Um, I know you can use some programs on your computer, uh, GIMP and like Photoshop, I think have everything you need to get it to work. But um, this is how I do it. Um, again, it's probably not going to be the easiest way, but it seems to work. And it, I, I think it's fairly easy, but uh, it could be other ways of doing it too. So I'm always looking into other ways. But so let's get, I'm going to get into this real quick. And uh, oh, my thing. Um, so the f um, app that I use is PS Touch. Um, people who know me that know that's how I make my little worlds. Um, if you're new to this, um, let me know on the communities of Minimal and Elegant, um, and I can send that to you. But um, it's what I use to make little worlds, and uh, I use it to, to do these too. So um, I'm going to have to, I was playing around with some stuff. <laughs> um, so uh, basically once you open it up, um, you want to, uh, you're going to pick um, photo library and the first thing that you want to do, and I'll put these down in the, the description as well as links, is get your templates. Um, so the templates for this, uh, Marcin, the developer, has made them bigger. You can still use the original size ones, but you probably want to have something that you can have a little more room with. Um, let me see. So I have them in my downloads somewhere in here. I don't know what happened to them. Um, I already have them anyway, so it's not. I'm probably just not paying attention. Oh, I have I have them anyway. Um, they should be in my. Looking, looking for. There's one of them, but that's a smaller one. Well, I have them. I just don't. They're, they're not in here as a, under the new names. That's these two right here. Um, so you would select, if you want to try to make yours for, you know, square watches, full round watches, and watches with a flat tire, I would get the, the little world that has the, um, in fact, let me go back. I already have them on here. Hello? I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Uh, see, I already, I already started one little thing. Um, let me get rid of this one. Okay, so I have I have three of the templates. I have obviously the one for the the flat tire. Um, if you take that away, then you have just the normal one. That would be for square ones. It seems to work good for square. Um, and then I have the one for full round. These are the edges that you don't want to go around. So I always have, if you have them, uh, you know, I have them so when I make my little, my little worlds and stuff, they're going to look good on a full round. Then I take that away and then I might have more stuff over here. So they're going to be good for the, uh, the flat tire and then, you know, for the square watches and stuff. So I always have three of them. So if you're just going to do one for round, then, you know, that would work just fine. Like I said, I'll have these in the, um, the link below um, or if I forget to put that in there you can always get them from me um, on the communities so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually since what I'm doing is a very simple thing I'm not going to use that one but I'm gonna keep that one there so you want to find your image that you want to use in this case it's going to be so you want to go let me go back so you know um, we need to add an image photo layer photo library you know you want to choose if you have all this stuff here um, you just need to choose the section that you want to go into and I'm trying to think that might be it it's not labeled but that should be it Jeep okay so see just a very simple Jeep you know with a transparent background and you can see the little things and you can move them around and stuff um, uh, so have him all ready and then so what I usually do is actually before I do that image let me do that and I 
um, I, can, I always forget to do this almost every time. So I don't have the image on there. I still have it over. Oh, I didn't even save it. That's okay. Um, so, I mean, I have, uh, which I want to do is I want to do, take that away. I always take that those away so it doesn't matter which watch you uh, put it on, it's going to look good. But so you have a scene, maybe you have a scene or some snow or, or a road or something you have on there. And what I always do first so I've, I've got it all kind of ready is I'm going to save it. So I'm going to have, actually I'm going to save it twice. Basically it's a blank canvas in this case, but my Star Wars one, um, I had the grass and the trees and the, the little figure in the background, but I didn't have my animation in there yet. Um, but I saved it twice. So it's going to, and I do it at the beginning, I do it at the very end, and it makes for it kind of a smooth transition. So basically the way you want to save it, I'm probably messing myself up a whole lot with all these saves too, <laughs> um, is, is, so let me go back. You hit this little thing down here, save to gallery, click on that. You have to click on it and save it as a PNG and just hit OK. I've already done that a couple times. So, and I would do that twice. Um, and then so once you do that then you get back into the image hopefully I'm kind of looking at the tablet not the screen um, I want to put that back because I want a guideline um, let's go back and get the the car and there we go um, so I want to like you know size it how big do you want it how small um, kind of decent size and stuff and you have it sitting there. Um, if you want to do, if you don't care about the aspect ratio because you want to make something longer or thinner, you hit extras and then you do, uh, you unclick that. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a broken train chain. Um, I'm going to go back. And that way you can pull the image and stretch it how you would like. But since I don't want to do that here. Um, so I have my image and I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. Um, I kind of want to, I'll just leave it right there. Um, now something that I, because of the way I do this, what helps me remember is when I click on this little arrow over here, it's going to give me the different sizes. So basically the image is 106 by 106. Um, I think that's a good size for this demo. So I'm going to remember 106 because I'm going to have to get this image a couple times and I want to get it to make sure it's the right size. So I want to remember 106. And see if I can do this. It didn't work for me last time. And then the nine down there, that's the position of where it's at on the screen. So I'm going to try to remember that. Um, it helps a little bit. You don't have to, but the 106 is where I want. And then so, and then I got rid of the thing. I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry, guys. Um, let's go back and get that. Actually, that'll be a good little test. I didn't. So. You see, because it's it's highlighted. If it's not, let me raise it up. Because if it gets below that thing, it'll actually cut it off. Um, that saves it. Hit the little check mark. Um, and if you get into this and you're like, oh man, how do I resize it again? The little and up there, the transform, and then it shows it again. Um, so like I said, the 109. You just go 109. And it's the size that I started off with. So you can even... That should put it. See, I don't know why that's done that before. So, um, yeah, I don't know why it's not working for me all of a sudden. It's working fine all day yesterday. That, um, so I, I don't want to in it. So, so let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. I want to get that. So when you move it like this, it gets a little janky and stuff, and you want to fine tune it. So that, and this is going to be your favorite button that you're going to be using. You click on that, you hit the pixel nudge, and all that's going to do is you see it, it's only going to move it a little at a time. So I want to put that right on that edge. And then, let me see, see it says 24, that's what I want. See if I can remember that, this should work this time. Um, let's put that down. Um, and so what I want to do is place it off of the screen you can just move the whole image if you want to, but usually I have to go back in and re-nudge it anyway, so um, just bear with me. 
Also, I have three cats running around, so you might hear me trying to tell them to stop eating something. I've got a Christmas tree up and I keep eating the bulbs. So I get this placed right off, just barely right off the edge, okay? So what I have been doing on all my images is I've been moving this image. Uh, each one of these I tap, I call the pixel. Um, I do that 25 times. Um, I was playing around with 10 for a while, but that made for a lot of frames. I even went to 20. Um, that made still for a fairly lot of frames. But uh, if you do 25, that seems to be... You can do 15, you can do 30. It's uh, whatever you'd like. Um, usually the less movement that it does, like the 10 or the 15, you're going to have a lot... Your, your animation is going to be very smooth. Um, if you do like 50 and 50 and 50, it's going to be kind of janky looking. So it's just tedious, but you're rewarded with something that looks cool. So I'm going to, the first one that, um, two that I'm going to do, I'm only going to do, I'm going to do my 25 just to show you. So it's off of the screen and I want to move it in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's 20. Two, three, four, five. That's five. So it's twenty-five. Now I've done that. Now I need to. Now I need to. You hit the little thing down there, and it sets it. Now I need to save it. Each time you do that, you need to save it. That's one frame. So you save. Save to gallery. Click over here. Oops. Um, they need to be in PNG, and that's one save. Technically, it's three saves because I've saved just that blank image twice already. It's going to make it kind of harder for me to put it into a gift when I'm done because I've done all these saves. Um, okay, so now we need that image again. Now, it's over here, but you can't use it because it's only a little bit of the Jeep. So I need to go back in and get it again. So I did that wrong. So you go back over here, hit the plus. Photo layer, photo library. Click on the image again, and I have it. And then I go back here, I hit 109. And let's go back. Let's move it. Now you can go, what was this? I can't remember what that was. 25 or something like that. But if you hit that, normally it's supposed to position it right where it is, but it doesn't seem to be doing that for me today. I don't know why doing something wrong I'm sure now uh, so I got the image I want to do pixel nudge again and basically I'm just going to place it exactly over that image and you can kind of fig play around with it a little bit sometimes you need to go back for see that's no good might need to move it down there we go see that actually looks if you look at that that almost you can't even tell so I got the image there. Now what I need to do is I'll do it again. You do 25 and you save it, 25, save it, 25, or 10, and save it, and save it, whatever. But for this, um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm actually going to, wait a minute, I don't think I like that. I want to go down a little bit. That seems to be working. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and... It looks like it's a little off at the bottom, but that's okay. Um, it might be because when you save it, it, the pixels get kind of wacky. So let's pretend I've done this a whole lot of times already. <laughs> and I, I'm going to get the, whole, the just the, just on the whole frame. So let's pretend I've already done five or six of these things, and that's where my image is at. I'm going to save that. Now what I need to do is I need to go back and you, you see that I need to get rid of the old one because I don't need it there anymore. So I need to highlight it, make sure it's, it's got the little highlight around here. Hit this little thing down there and delete it. So I don't need that anymore. And now, like I said, each time I had to do that, I needed to go in and re-get the image because it was only going to be half of the image, three quarters of the image. But once you get to this point, you don't need to do that anymore because you got the whole image. So I, I just hit... I need to transform because I need to get the little dots around it again. And then I would do the pixel nudge again and then I would move it however many times. So I'm going to just kind of... 
I'm, I'm just making stuff up. I'm not even counting anymore. I'm just trying to make this thing go very fast for you guys. But I would do, again, I would do my 25, 25, 25, 25 each time. 25 save, 25 save, 25 save. So I'd say that's something right there. Um, I need to hit that. It saves it. There. Go done. Save. And boom. No, don't hit that one. Um, and it saved. So I go back in there. Again, the whole Jeep is there, so I don't need to go back in and get the image again. So it goes a little faster now. Go back here. And and do it a whole bunch more times. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's try to get this like halfway in there. Okay, done. Save. Then you go back in. Save it. Why does it want to do that one? Now you have to remember to save. If you don't, then you're going to skip a frame, and it's going to it's going to be all smooth, and then it'll skip. So it there's times I forgot to, and I didn't notice until the whole image was already a GIF, and I'm like, oh, I got to go back and do it, and it gets a little frustrating. So you <laughs> kind of just you know have to like I said, it might be easier. I don't know what to do it on a computer. Can you can see everything a little easier than you can on here? Um, but this just seems to work for me. Let's go into here now. Um, you know, when I was telling you uh, to always do go in here to get the right size, this seems to like go down as you keep doing this. I don't know if it just starts to lose its pixels a little bit or maybe because it's moving. I don't end up, once I start doing it like this, I don't worry about that anymore and I haven't seen any difference with anything. So, uh, let me. Uh, if you just take one little quick break, a second, my wife just text messaged me. Um, I just want to make sure I... She's out at the store with her mom. I just want to make sure that I'm talking to her. You don't ever ignore the wife. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I apologize for that. Um, so we're back here, and we just keep... I'm going to try to get this at least almost all the way there. Yeah, I can just drag it over there with that, but then um, it's not going to be lined up right and stuff. So we'll just do it really, 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 really quick. Try to get it to the edge anyway. So this is, did, did something like this could be 20 frames, could be up to 30 frames. 20 to 30 frames is basically what going from end to end is usually at 25. I'm trying to think it might be like 32 plus the two at the beginning and two extras at the end. And depending on what you're doing, um, you might want to have a pause in the middle. You maybe by doing that, you just put it in the middle and then you save it. I would save it seven to eight times. Believe it or not, when you know you th that's a lot of saves for it, but when the image is going by so fast, it's not going to pause that long, maybe a, a second or two. So if you want something to pause in between it, just save that frame seven to eight times and then continue on and stuff. So I get it all the way. Okay, uh, we'll save this. It'll be real janky when we do it, but that's okay. Save like that. Hopefully I'll be remembered to save everything while doing this. <laughs> um, okay, we go back here, transform. And what I'll do is get it almost all the way off of the screen. So if you're doing your 25 or your 10 and it, you know, takes it completely off the screen, keep it like that because that's just part of its movement. Usually most of the time I'll end right there and then if I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, I would stop and then I'd come back and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And see, it actually... If it's just a smidge left, I usually will just hit that extra. <laughs> You're not going to notice that. So, it's off of the screen. You save, it goes away. So, the, the smooth motion. So, we're going to save it. Okay, but I'm going to save it. Um, since there's nothing on that screen, you can save it again. That way you have like the 
two at the beginning and a two at the end. But I'm finding out because of the website I can go to, I can copy it. So I will only save it once and then I'll copy it at the beginning. Get to the end and I'll copy it once. And again, my wife. <laughs> um, so we're all done. The image is there. Um, it's probably not going to be labeled tutorials in the app that we use. Um, so that's where it gets a little complicated. So we're done with this. Go out. Now I have actually the the uh, thing saved on here. It's called, um, is that the right one? Yeah. Giftcreator.me. Um, just do a search for it. It might show up as a kind of a looks a little different, but because my phone and thing don't have flash player there's a little it says or click on this site or something like this and you click on it and it brings you to, to this so this is it's very simple I'm actually going to rotate this guy so it's gonna make it a little easier for me so this is super easy this is what pops up first thing you do upload an image now depending and then so uh, this should probably open up something like this hit documents um, I've been using uh, Solid Explorer. Uh, I find that works. Sometimes the photos uh, um, or your whatever photos album you work, it doesn't seem to always work. Like it won't recognize it as a picture for some reason, and it is a picture. So Solid Explorer always works for me. Um, you know, there's ES File Explorer. I don't know. I haven't used that one, even though I have it on my... I think I have it here on my phone. Um, I'm going to try it on one on my phone. But so far, I just use Solid Explorer. I click on that. Depending on what pops up on your thing, um, this is just all the, the little the the gifts that I've done and played around with. Um, I don't want this page, so I'm actually going to um, hit the back button. Depending on what pops up, sometimes a different page will pop up. But what I'm looking for is pictures because you need the Adobe Photoshop touch. That's what you're looking for. And then you, as you see, each one of these, this is my Superman one, each one of these was a save, 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 saves. And I've done a lot of them. I'm working on a Tron one, still trying to get that one to look good. Gotten close, very close. Um, this is my Santa one, Star Wars. Um, so, well, look at that. Somehow I did save. <laughs> see what happens when you do a tutorial you save the wrong thing um, actually that's not that bad because I can double click on that one so like I said you'd have all of these so we're gonna start off with um, the first one I know I made oh, you click it it's gonna download it. it's gonna show it over here I don't know why you know what um, why did that I'm going to exit out of that I should have my Beginning. So tutorials don't always go as you planned. We'll get used to this motion right here too because you're going to have to do it 20, 30 times. So I must have forgot to save something somewhere. I've been playing around with this so much that... Um, okay, well that's the only one that I have. I must have hit that one by mistake. But we'll start it off anyways. You can see the little thing. Normally I would have no image there and I would just it would just show that twice. And I saved it with the uh the flat tire as well. I didn't want to do that. Um but that's okay. Just if you don't want that in there when you do those things, don't you know, save it with that. Each time you do it, don't save it with that. Because now it's gonna show up on uh, my uh round watch and it's gonna show up on um square watches, but you, you'll get the idea anyway. So, okay. So, that's one image. we got to go back. So, like I said, get used to doing this. Because <laughs> you're going to do it a lot. Making sure. Um, go back. Sometimes it'll just pop up here. And sometimes it just pops up here. I think it depends if I was playing with it or not. And we're going to go to the second image. You can see it's, it's animating it already. So, let's go... Do this again, like I said, twenty, thirty times. You getting kind of a you getting a kind of a rhythm. 
<laughs> right there. See, boom, 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 boom. And then let's go all the way down. Oops, oops, I did that wrong. Let's go here. So that was this image, and we'll do this image. So sometimes I'll watch to make sure it's okay. Now because I did not save my last image, I hit the wrong thing, um, you would have it, you'd probably have nothing there. Um, and if you wanted, like I said at the beginning, if you uh, just saved one without the image going across one time, you would just come over here and you'd hit duplicate and it would make another one. So that's kind of a, a little shortcut. I didn't mean to stop it anyway. So after you've got your image, um, you don't really need to change anything. The only thing you need to change is this right here. This is your animation speed. If you do it like this, it only does, it goes 560 for it. You know, it goes kind of janky, but we want 66. Seems to be the smooth. Um, that's what we're looking for. It's going to give you that nice, quick animation. Now that looks fast because, like I said, if you if you were done little at a time, it would look smooth. It would look a little bit better, but because we'd skipped ahead so far, it looks really weird. Um, but that's basically what you're you're looking for right there. Um, and then you would come over here. I'm hoping I've been paying attention to the tablet, not the screen. I'm sorry, guys. If you can read that, it says create GIF. Wait a few seconds, um, and then you want to download it and then it's downloading and then so basically if I did these on my tablet I would send it to my email send it to my phone and then I would send it to um, my thing but just so you what it's gonna look like I can actually let me get back out of this if you do not leave this page you do it gets rid of it it doesn't save it <laughs> do not leave that page <laughs> if not you're doing this all over again but you can actually, uh, I still use Solid Explorer for all of it. It just seems to work for me. And you can actually select one of my GIFs that I made. Um, we'll do my Superman one. And it will load up the whole uh, GIF itself. So as you can see, all of these I made, moving that little guy. And he's it. Um, let's do... 66 so there you go but see it's each each one of these <laughs> and if you make a mistake putting some in there there's unfortunately what I don't like about this is you can't add anything in there um, in the middle you can't move this over here that's the so if you messed up here you've got to start all over um, and I thought there was something else and this website keeps the transparent background I haven't found I found maybe one other one that does it in fact somebody showed one that does keep the transparent background um, I've tried a ton of apps from the uh, Google Play Store none of them keep the transparent background they give it a black or white and it took me a while once but I'm glad I found this one because it keeps the transparent background so once you're done then I'm going to so that is online um, online creator it's called online creator or no I'm online I'm sorry a gift creator I will put that link in the description as well see like I said you backed out and it goes away <laughs> um, but you know you don't need to mess with the image size everything is perfect so it's real simple to do that so I'm gonna switch over to my phone real quick and then um, I'm not going to use that same image because I didn't send it over. But normally what you would, it's very simple to do. You'd easily just go into your uh, minimal and elegant. There's one that um, a gentleman on the uh, forums made or the community made. Uh, and so it's the same thing as adding a, a little world. It's just super simple. Um, you just go to custom. And then my download, so let's do my, I was playing around with uh, 
downloading some GIFs from online. And there you go. Actually, that's a good background. I like that background. Um, so, and that's as simple as that. Now, if you get a little error message up here, if you... And this is something that we discovered, me and Marcin discovered on one of mine. Um, 512 KBs, kegabytes, I think. Um, that's how big the image is. I actually had an image that was too big. Um, wouldn't work. I thought it was the wrong size or something. Um, I'm trying to think if I... Um, let me think it was... Um, oh, okay. Um, I'll put this in there too. It was called... Edit GIF, I believe, or Edit GIF or GIF Edit. Let me see. Um, easy GIF. If you do that, in the, it, most likely it's because you're over that 512. So if you were to come over here and do um, GIF Optimizer, you would choose File. I would again probably go back to my... Um, Solid Explorer for this one. It was actually one of my uh, little peek at a, at a Tron one that I was working on. I'm still, there's something not quite right with the ones I'm working on. Um, so it was actually one like this with a background. And then so you select it, upload it. Oops. it's a big file so and it should show up right here so that's what I'm working on um, haven't released it yet because it's the background is a weird color and I can't get a background on the watch to match it um, so I might still release it and you guys can play around with it but you can see this was size is 661 that wasn't going to work um, so you come over here so if this does happen to you guys come all the way up here go to color reduction and then uh, my buddy, Marcin, told me to put 96 in this little spot. And then optimize it. And I don't know why that's coming up. It's I've had issues with that. Um, but normally the image would come up here. And it would, by um, so it's reducing some of the colors a little bit. Yeah, I don't know why that's still not, file not found weird. Um... But it normally would show up here, and then you can see the file size. As long as it's done under 520, then you would um, then you'd come over here and you would save it, and then it would download, and then you just send it to where you need to, and you could use it. So if you have a file that's too big, um, easy GIF. I'll put that in the link down as well. But so guys, anyway, um, in fact, let's look at my watch. There you go. So. <laughs> Um, even though that's not the image we made, but that's how easy it is. It's a, you, the thing is, is you just got to remember to always save, 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 save. And uh, if you have a lot of images like I do online, with there's trees and stuff, um, play with the the image that you want going across, making sure that it's in front or behind the trees. Because there's a few times I went, oh, I, I had to start all over because one image was one frame was in front of the tree, and the other ones weren't. So. It's time consuming, but I can honestly make one of these in probably under a half hour. And it seems to be working. So guys, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you need that PS Touch app, let me know. I'll send it to you probably through Google Hangouts. I just I don't ever make it public. Um, and I hope that helps you guys. And like I said, maybe not the easiest way, but it works for me. So um, Thanks for watching, guys. I hope I helped you out. Anyway, you guys have a great day, and it's Sunday. Let's watch some football. All right, guys. Thank you.